U.S. Supreme Court handed down a decision this morning on its first abortion case since it overturned Roe v. Wade two years ago. The unanimous decision preserves full access to a pill widely used in medical abortions called mifepristone. CBS News correspondent Skylar Henry reports from outside the Supreme Court. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the so-called abortion pill mifepristone will remain available, saying the plaintiffs lacked standing to bring the case. The first thing the court says here is don't walk into our doors unless you have an injury, unless it's caused by the government action that you're complaining of, and unless it can be remedied. A group of doctors opposed to abortion sued the FDA after it eased restrictions on the pill mifepristone, making it more readily accessible. My colleagues and I are on the front lines witnessing and treating the women harmed by the FDA's shameful actions. We knew we had no choice but to sue the FDA to hold it accountable. Mifepristone was used in nearly two-thirds of all abortions in the U.S. last year. The FDA first approved it 24 years ago. In 2016, the FDA extended the window. Women can take Mifepristone from 7 to 10 weeks. And during the pandemic, it said an in-person doctor's visit was not needed, allowing mail-order pharmacies to ship the drug nationwide. The data are very, very clear that mifepristone is extremely safe, extremely effective. Over 100 peer-reviewed uh, journal publications have shown this over and over again. This is the court's first abortion decision since the conservative majority overturned Roe v. Wade two years ago, though their opinion here is centered around the plaintiff's lack of standing rather than reproductive health. The court still has another abortion-related case to weigh in on before the term is over. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the Supreme Court. The other abortion case centers on whether a federal law on emergency treatment at hospitals takes precedence over state abortion bans. The Biden administration had sued the state of Ohio, which allows exceptions only to save the life of a mother or in cases of rape and incest. It does not allow for exceptions in rare emergency cases in which the pregnant patient's health is at serious risk.